Playing to Win, How Strategy Really Works is a book by A.G. Laffley, the former CEO of Procter & Gamble, P&G, and Roger L. Martin, a strategic advisor that explores the concept of strategy in business and how to create a winning approach. The authors argue that a successful strategy is not simply a matter of responding to market conditions or competitors, but is about making intentional and integrated choices that set a company apart and allow it to win in its chosen marketplace. At the heart of the book is the Strategy Choice Cascade, a set of five interrelated questions that form a framework guiding organizations in the development of their strategies. 1. What is our winning aspiration? 2. Where will we play? 3. How will we win? 4. What capabilities must we have? 5. What management systems are required? The first question, what is our winning aspiration, addresses the purpose of the organization. It goes beyond just making money or being the best. It is about defining the overarching ambition of the company, which serves as a guiding star for all its strategy choices. The aspiration must be clear and compelling, inspiring employees and resonating with customers. The second question, where will we play? demands that organizations be selective about the markets and segments in which they choose to compete. This involves making choices about geographic locations, customer segments, product categories, and channels of distribution. By defining where they will play, companies can focus their resources where they can potentially win rather than spreading them too thinly across many fronts. The third question, how will we win? requires a company to identify the unique value proposition it will offer to the customers in the chosen market segments. This is about figuring out how to create a competitive advantage that is sustainable. Strategies for winning could include differentiation through higher quality, lower costs, greater innovation, or other factors that matter to customers in the chosen arenas. The fourth question, what capabilities must we have, focuses on the specific skills, assets, and competencies a company needs to win in the chosen areas. These capabilities enable the execution of the strategy and must be aligned with the winning aspiration and the choices of where to play and how to win. Companies often need to invest in developing these distinctive capabilities that set them apart from competitors. The final question, what management systems are required? examines the internal structures and processes needed to support strategy execution. This includes information systems, performance measurement, talent management, and incentives that ensure the organization is aligned with the winning strategy. The systems need to reinforce the strategy and help the company make timely adjustments as required. Laughley and Martin offer numerous examples from P&G's and other companies' experiences to illustrate how answering these questions effectively can lead to significant organizational success. One notable case discussed is P&G's turnaround under Laffley's leadership, where the company focused on core brands, created compelling new products, and expanded into emerging markets. Key strategies included redesigning Gillette razors and applying Olay skincare technology across product lines. Additionally, the decision to focus on fewer, stronger brands allowed for more sustainable growth. Throughout the book, the authors emphasize that strategy is about choice, making difficult decisions and saying no to certain opportunities to focus on the most promising ones. Effective strategy must be simple and clearly articulated so that everyone in the organization can understand and act upon it. Companies must avoid common traps such as trying to be all things to all people, overemphasizing competitors at the expense of customers, and getting stuck in static plans rather than dynamically adjusting to changing circumstances. Laffley and Martin also discuss the importance of the consumer's point of view in strategic decision-making. Instead of looking inward at what the company can make or do, successful strategies often start with the customer and work backward to figure out how to serve them better. This outside-in approach ensures that strategy is rooted in delivering value that customers recognize and are willing to pay for. The book also encourages leaders to continuously test their strategies against reality, to be willing to adapt, and to embrace the uncertainty inherent in the marketplace. Leaders should nurture an organizational culture that supports strategic thinking, one that encourages questioning and does not shy away from the inherent tensions of strategic choices.
In conclusion, playing to win, how strategy really works, serves as a valuable guide for business leaders and managers seeking to craft winning strategies. At its core, the book emphasizes that strategic thinking is a discipline that can be honed and that the systematic approach outlined by the strategy choice cascade can serve as a powerful tool to guide companies towards success. By answering the five critical questions and making coherent choices aligned with those answers, companies can position themselves to outperform competitors and achieve their aspirations in the global marketplace. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.